eight. Hello, I'm Roddy McDowell, and welcome back to Planet of the Apes Week here on the Sci-Fi Channel. So the first two eight movies told the story of contemporary men dropped into a frightened world where intelligent chimpanzees ruled. But tonight, the situation is reversed, as the intelligent apes travel back through time to a contemporary, well, 1973, United States where humans still rule and mankind isn't quite ready for the glimpse into the future offered by our chimpanzee friends. Now, let's follow Cordelius and Zira as the Sci-Fi Channel's Planet of the Apes week continues with Escape from the Planet of the Apes. The Pierre Boulle's 1963 book, Monkey Planet, was the basis for the Planet of the Apes movies. It puts the apes technology on a level with our own, complete with cars, planes, and space flight. Now, back to Escape From of the Planet of the Apes by Shannon. Music plays an important part in any film. The score for the first three apes movies was written by Academy Award winning composer Jerry Goldsmith, who also wrote the music for such sci fi classics as Star Trek, the motion picture, and Alien. Now, back to Escape from the Planet of the Apes. It was a little more difficult, I know, with uh, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, because I had to do things that uh, I did not have to do in the first one, such as drink a glass of champagne. <laughs> How do you do that <laughs> with uh, all of this fun rubber? It was very, very difficult. And Roddy and I actually had to kiss each other at some point, but it was terribly difficult because the, you know, it's spun rubber and it moves. So you can't kiss the way you would normally kiss any human being. Roddy and I had to be very careful that we didn't squash our mouths <laughs> when we kissed. Unwittingly, Escape sets the stage for its sequel. In it, the son of Cornelius and Zero will rise up and become a revolutionary who will lead the conquest of the planet of the apes. For the Sci-Fi Channel, I'm Roddy McDowell. Take him right on. That's it. And our Planet of the Apes 30th Anniversary Marathon. Where the apes go classic. Hello, I'm Roddy McDowell. Welcome back to AMC's 30th Anniversary Planet of the Apes Marathon. All five Planet of the Apes films all day and all night. Well, all good things must come to an end, even the Planet of the Apes movies. The film we are about to see, Battle for the Planet of the Apes, was the final entry in the series, so far. Every Planet of the Apes film was notable for its fine cast, and this one was certainly no exception. Lou Ayres appeared as Nadamus, Claude Athens as the evil Aldous, and the brilliant director and actor John Houston played the lawgiver. There was another budding director in the cast, too, young John Landis. And, of course, I made my fourth appearance in the series as that Simeon Rabblewells of Caesar. The locations for this film were a little like traveling both through time and space. We shot the Newton City scenes at the Hyperion treatment plant. So that means sewage in Tyler Del Rey, California. And the location scenes out at the Fox Ranch were shot on the same spot where I filmed Hadeen with my valley with director John Ford in 1941. Well, I guess all of us actors and apes have come a long, long way. Enjoy Battle for the Planet of the Earth. You're watching American Movie Classics. And our Planet of the Apes 30th Anniversary Marathon. Where the apes go classic. Hello, I'm Roddy McDowell. Welcome back to AMC's 30th Anniversary Planet of the Apes Marathon. All five Planet of the Apes films, all day and all night. Now, all weekend long, we're enjoying the five great Planet of the Apes movies. The film we're about to see takes us behind the scenes of these productions shows us how the remarkable makeup, costumes, and sets were designed, and even reveals some rare home movie footage and screen tests. 
This wonderful documentary was produced especially for American Movie Classics on the 30th anniversary of the release of Planet of the Apes. It's called Behind the Planet of the Apes. I am honored to serve as your host in Behind Planet of the Apes. We will also hear from Charlton Heston, Tim Hunter, and Ricardo Montalban. Oscar-winning makeup artist John Chambers, studio executive Richard Zanuck, directors J. Lee Thompson, Ted Post, and Don Taylor, and many others who worked on one or more of the five Planet of the Apes films. It is a fascinating glimpse into the making of a series that has enthralled moviegoers for three decades and will continue to engage, amaze, and entertain us for many decades to come. Prepare to learn all. Here is Behind. There were many issues that challenged mankind day to day. Race relations, government conspiracy, freedom of speech, nuclear war. And all of these issues are part of a story about a man thrust into a world where men are no longer the masters. A story about a man lost in time and marooned on the planet of the apes. To make it to the screen, 20th Century Fox was hesitant to invest $5 million in a science fiction film, but the endless tenacity of producer Arthur Jacobs and the ultimate participation and box office strength of Charlton Heston made Planet of the Apes a viable venture. So now, back to Planet of the Apes.